about your forecast and let's take a look at Ida. This was a category four storm right as it made landfall earlier this morning and watch it slowly start to weaken because it slowed down over land and with that land interaction, of course, hurricanes aren't big fans of land, so they're going to weaken and it's going to pretty much dwindle into a tropical storm as we head through the day Monday, but not before it dumped a whole ton of rain. New Orleans recorded around 6.6 .6 inches according to this rainfall estimate based on our radars, but off to the west near Lake Morapas, near where the center of the storm is now, look at that. That is over a foot of rain. That means flash flooding definitely happening, especially on that south shore where they've got flash flood emergencies. That's worse than a flash flood warning for those wondering a flash flood emergency for that south shore. Pretty much anywhere on I-10 between, say, Laplace and the New Orleans area. And the track has it going into portions of Mississippi starting your Monday off with only 60 mile an hour winds, which would make it a strong tropical storm. But those rain are still going to be the story with Ida. However, we don't expect any impacts here in Central Texas, which by the way, we are sitting mostly dry. We did have a few pop up thunderstorms earlier this afternoon, but that has all fizzled out because that daytime heating is no longer in place. And with that daytime heating, you no longer have any of that instability. Low temperatures tonight are going to be hovering around those low to mid 70s, mostly clear for the most part. Could see one or two isolated showers and those north winds. Yeah, they're going to be at a much slower pace at around three to eight miles an hour, which means we're going to be seeing a lot of that humidity being felt on our bodies. Temperature wise for tomorrow, Winds are going to be pretty light and variable, so any humidity will definitely be felt by anyone who walks outside, even though those temperatures are at about average for this time of year, pretty much mid 90s, some upper 90s as you head down closer to the Brazos Valley, places like Hearn College Station checking in at 97. And as a result of that, I'm going to give that a solid nine on that Jordan meter because average high at around 95, mix of sun and clouds, maybe one or two isolated showers. I can't give you a 10 because we do have a little bit of that humidity and heat indices are going to be in those triple digits. However, we could actually hit those triple digits by the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday. Moisture is still going to be in place, so there is that possibility, a very slight one at that, that we could get a few sea breeze showers coming up from that Brazos Valley because we are going to get access to that moisture off of that Gulf of Mexico once again because Ida pretty much took up all of that moisture that was in the Gulf of Mexico, which limited our chances of some hop up showers, but we did have a disturbance slide through from the northwest that did provide us with some of those isolated showers and thunderstorms as well. Temperatures get to those upper 90s Tuesday and Wednesday at least and same story pretty much throughout the rest of the week with skies clearing as high pressure moves through for Thursday and Friday.